have PP Ali S 119. I uh, I Saujanya. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Saujanya. I am here to make a short presentation on clinical pharmacist in provision of contraception. Firstly, I am going to tell you something about the relationship between the demographic and the economic outcomes and the burden. Uh, the relation between demographic change and economic outcomes are inversely proportional as when the demographic population increases, the economic needs to be enjoyed by the person decreases. So family planning, family planning uh, plays an important role as these are the social services which which uh, help, uh, help the individual to determine the number and spacing between their own child and contraception and the contraceptive methods plays an important role by fulfilling the above criteria. I would like uh, I would uh, like you to focus on the images and the pie chart which has been present there. Uh, it it shows the uh, impact of uh, contraceptive choices in 2005 to 2019. In 2005, uh, there are many people choosing the uh, contraceptive methods, and there are also a few people who are not choosing it. And coming to the methods mostly used, the female sterilization plays an important role. It, it is the majorly recorded in 2005 and coming to 2009 as the long-term uh, contraceptive success rate was high for female sterilization. It is still is in high rate along with the uh, IOD insertions as well as oral contraceptives. Now I would like you to, uh, to move on to the aim of my study. The aim of my study is to uh, promote the quality of woman life by reducing the unintended pregnancies and by establishing a rapport between physician and the subject such that by counseling them uh, why to use how to use when to use and how to manage because there are many women who are still introverts to clearly mention their problems to the physician so by establishing and rapport by the clinical pharmacist i think it plays a major role coming to the methodology uh, the method is uh, conducted in a healthcare center actually i was wondered because during my clinic observation i have found many women consulting the nurse to regarding the uh, queries they have what to do if i have missed the pill so i thought of counseling them before and after the use of, use of these methods and the study uh, the counseling pattern was done uh, by taking the demographic factors and the type of contraceptive method they have chosen and according to the health status what we should uh, what is preferred for them uh, and the counseling was done as initially we have uh, obtained the list of the patients and their contraceptive methods chosen. Then we have uh, we have prepared ourselves to counsel them. And uh, when the patient has arrived, we have cross-checked the details with them. And uh, we have counseled them regarding uh, what to do if the area is absorbed, a side effect is absorbed, or if a dose is missed. And uh, we have made them clear, like uh, at what days they have to use the active pill and at what days they have to uh, use the placebo. And uh, we have made them repeatedly say the uh, calendar of the pill to be used. And we have uh, made, uh, documented and uh, follow up was allotted for individuals. Uh, conclusion points for oral contraceptives is we have initially taken the history because history plays an important role because not all women can be able to use the contraceptives. Example, uh, uh, combined hormonal contraceptives, uh, the, uh, they have a uh, contraindication that if the BP of the woman is more than systolic BP of greater than 160 mm and the, the diastolic pressure of more than 100 mm, MMHG is contraindicated because it increases the risk of stroke and myocardial infraction. And coming to who to who to use the pill, uh, the combination pill of estrogen and uh, progesterone pills are uh, contraindicated or not effective based on the patient's health status and their medical condition. Uh, women of uh, the combination pill is mostly preferred to young women. And coming to what to do if they miss the pill, uh, we have made them the calendar chart and we have. Uh, advise them to use according to the pill uh, pill dates and if they miss the dose we have mentioned them what to do if they missed one dose uh, within 20 less than 24 hours uh, we have uh, counseled them to take the pill at regular time uh, at the same day if their day is more than three days we have counseled them to take the two pills such that the uh, schedule of other days will be managed and we have counseled them regarding the uh, when to withdraw the oral contraceptives because uh, as mentioned, uh, estrogen and pro progesterone contraceptive pills, when taken in persons who are 
having the risk of developing cloth or if they when they experience a pain in the chest or stabbing pain in the leg they have to withdraw the oral contraceptives and if a person is willing to be pregnant then the contraceptives should be uh, withdrawn uh, for to at least 4 weeks uh, after 4 uh, weeks and you and then uh, have a decision of taking the pregnancy and uh, coming to the sterilized women we have uh, counts, uh, asked them regarding and asked, uh, asked them regarding how many children they have because sterilization is a permanent method uh, if the woman is willing if she have more than one uh, then the person is eligible for the sterilization process and coming to the uh, iud inserted women firstly we have taken the history because history plays an important role uh, because if the person is having an infection and when she had undergone iud then initial doxycycline of 200 mg will be effective such that the further progress of the disease can be controlled and we have explained them how to feel the threat because if the threat is misplaced uh, it may indicate the uh, failure chances of iud is more if it is left as such it leads to further complications uh then we have also uh, set the withdrawal time because uh, example copper tea copper tea is the most commonly used one uh, it is generally uh, named as copper 380a and uh, paragard uh, it has generally a lifespan of 10 years so the person who is willing to withdraw if she can uh, take it before 10 years or at the mark of 10 so uh, the observation we have found that was the person who had missed the pill uh, without counseling had missed the pill and they also used uh, oral contraceptive drugs because uh, when iud is inserted there will be a common of bleeding from bleeding for first two weeks or for a few days uh, such that they use trenexa 500 mg we have noticed this because uh, we are in collaboration with the pharmacy so uh, they used to regularly uh, to come to the pharmacy and they used to take and some of them had showed me uh, when they had attended the follow up and when going with the counseling they had not missed the pills and they are also able to recognize the comp complications as iud causes increase in bleeding they were managed by their cognitive behavioral therapy we have counseled them to uh, such that when coming to the result we have uh, i have considered the parameters of uh, persons who had attended follow ups and who are used otc drugs and adherence uh with counseling and the non counseling the adherence rate was more in the persons who are counseled as well as the uh, follow up also the positive outcomes was noted and coming to non counseled patients we have noticed that the uh, iud persons were more panicked because of their complications and they used the oral uh, medications to manage otc medications and because uh, while using any pill or any hormonal methods there is an chance of interaction like majority of antibiotic majority or few antibiotics are interacting with the oral contraceptive pills so uh, care must be taken such that the, there might be no complications for them so our aim was to uh, bring out the positive outcome and i conclude that i have found as i found the positive response from the public so i have think that my study has been uh, positive and it established a rapport between physician because whenever the clinical pharmacist is not available they directly went to the physician and they clarified their doubts with the help of the nurse thank you uh, yes uh, so janya uh, yes, i have one query what was the subject size means how many number of uh, uh, patients were there in your study till the end we have select, uh, actually in my observation i have got 96 patients ma'am such that i mm -hmm. have divided them according to the method they had chosen mm -hmm. and by collecting the uh, medical records we have uh, documented them safely because they might serve as the uh, reference in further cases by documenting when they attended the follow up we had uh, marked the persons and the number of patients who had attended the follow up uh, the sample size was enough for the conclusion what the literature says ma'am uh, actually uh, it is an uh, in a short actually i thought of going with short sample size because uh, if it is success in here there are the chances of many uh, success rates in uh, villages or as such and there were no dropouts till the end ma'am there were no drop dropouts uh, we have few dropouts ma'am because a few people uh, they were hesitant to meet us to in the follow up Uh, the persons we have not counseled they did not attend and if few people were attended uh, regarding the doubts they had uh, we have missed the pill for 3 days what can we do next as such doubts we have obtained and there is an barrier of uh, we have observed and barrier of uh, illiteracy ma'am 
and the persons who are from other states for them we try to in end another sample size was uh, there effective in the end of your study in the end i have found that out of 96% uh, we have counseled only uh, 45 members ma'am Uh, we have uh, divided according to the method they have chosen, and the outcome for forty-five members it was thirty-nine uh, uh, months. Percentage is up to uh, in hundred percent it was seventy percent. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So as a, as we have come to an end, I would like to thank the evaluators and the all the presenters too, and special thanks to our evaluators. Thanks for joining us and thanks for being a part of Pharma Nisha two point three. you guys make it successful event so thank you ma'am and thank you sir for joining us okay thank you thanks a lot thank you thank you sir thank you sir. thank you thank you thanks a lot